Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Distinguished guests, organizers of the DTS Maldives Summit 2018, our beloved youth, especially the youth of the Maldives, ladies and gentlemen, good day and assalamu alaikum. I take great pleasure to be here with you today. Put it simply, this Diplomacy Talk series is a fantastic initiative. I'm particularly pleased to learn that the main theme or the idea of this DTS Maldives Summit 2018 is youth making sustainable goals a reality. This is centered around our youth course. I'm also very pleased to learn that this talk series is solely led by students, which of course is wonderful. I'd like to extend my greetings and sincere thanks for inviting me to give some remarks in this DTS Maldives Summit 2018 event. I really wanted to do this in person but due to work commitments and other unforeseen circumstances, it has not been able for me to do so. Unfortunately, that is the case. Hence, I'm connecting with you via this video. May I also take this opportunity to congratulate some of the people who are at the very forefront of this initiative. If you may, I'd like to mention some names here. The founders, Katrina Doshi, Hamza Abdi Wahab, and also our very own Mizbah Said. Diplomacy Talk Series in 2018, with a number of talks, has impacted over 1,200 individuals, as far as I know. In my opinion, that is an impressive achievement on its own right. Ladies and gentlemen, today we are talking about the Sustainable Development Goals, the most ambitious global agenda ever seen towards ending the likes of poverty, inequality, and to protect our very own planet. Statistically speaking today, the generation of youth is the largest the world has ever seen in the recorded history. In general, one in every three people alive today is under the age of 30. The case is no different in the Maldives. In the Maldives, over 30% of population power are young people. Now, some of you might have heard the science term, the Flynn effect, which essentially translates that as far as the humanity goes, each successive generation is more intelligent than the previous generation. So, you can be considered to be more informed and more intelligent than your forefathers. Indeed, we are more tax savvy than our fathers and our forefathers. Hence, it is important for youth of today to take the upper hand. You need to take the initiatives rather than following the status quo defined by the older generations. You need to define your future. You need to craft and carve it. However, you must do so in a very responsible way. Now, simple things that you do during your daily routines may have big impacts in a positive way or in a negative way. Small gestures of respect to your friends, colleagues, neighbors, respecting equality and diversity, utilizing the limited resources we have on the planet in a responsible way, such as reducing the use of plastic and buying things only when you need, are examples of small gestures. Of course, these gestures as have bigger impacts towards achieving the sustainable goals. If 
there's a message I would like you to take away with you today. It must be that you stay true to yourself, to your beliefs, to your goals. Today we live in a world which is ever more complex, in a world with many conflicting priorities, and it is ever more easy to be confused. However, you must remember one thing. Successful people, the likes of Gates, Jobs, Zuckerbergs, Bransons, are those with a vision and a goal from very young age. And they make sure to stick with their goals through thick and thin and always strive to succeed. If you want to make a difference in your life, you must clearly define your life. You must clearly define your goals and stick with them. It matters not what your individual life goal may be. The formula for success is actually simple and it's nothing but focused hard work. I wanted to keep my remarks short, but I like you to think over what I have just said and I hope you will act upon it too. Once again, I wanted to extend my gratitude for the invitation, especially to Mizva, with whom I have been exchanging conversation recently. I also like to let you know I'm very keen to be involved with these DTS activities. I have already given my assurance to Mizva on that front. I understand this series will continue next year too. It will be even better in many ways. I'm sure about that. I hope to be able to attend DTS Maldives Summit 2019 uh, and the sessions in person and I hope to be able to specifically con contribute to SDG 9, the industry, innovation and infrastructure goals. With that, I'd like to say bye for now. I wish you all well and please do keep in touch. Thank you. Wassalamu alaikum.